Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Bob Rubaki, and today I want to talk about using a stored procedure as a sync or a target within Azure Data Factory's copy activity. Now, most of the time when I use the copy activity, I'm taking data from a source and just doing a straight copy, normally into a table in SQL Server, for example. But with using a stored procedure, I can uh, maybe apply some additional processing or, or logic or maybe add some columns to my data set. And so I wanted to share a little bit about how to do this. It's a little bit tricky to do, so I thought that this would be a, a really a useful post and a good way to explain how to do it. So now in order to use the store procedure sync, we need to set up a few things first ahead of time. And so I've kind of listed that out here on this screenshot here. Part of the trick it, to using the store procedure is that we do need to define in our target database a user-defined table type. So this is a user-defined data type that has the structure of a table. And we want this user-defined table type to have similar structure to our incoming source data. So ultimately, in a few more steps, we're going to map our source data to this table type. Then we need, need to create our store procedure. And then we will use or we will create a parameter in that store procedure using this data type. And I'll show this in a second. And then the last piece of the trick here really is setting up your uh, target data set within ADF to use this store procedure. So looking at this screenshot here, this is uh, an illustration of SQL Server Management Studio. I've created in, in this case a user defined table data type that I called stage dot passing type. So stage is my schema name and passing type is the name of the, the data type. And so these are the columns that I've defined here. And, and in my situation, in my case here, these align very closely to the file data that I'm importing into my database. So again, this is my table data type with those columns defined. Now, once I've got that table data type defined, I want to go ahead and move on and create my stored procedure. So inside this stored procedure, I might have some logic, maybe, you know, at a minimum, maybe I want to add some, some metadata from the ADF process to my, my target table. So you can see in my stored procedure here, I'm doing a, a pretty simple insert, uh, but I, you know, I can maybe, you know, call out to some functions, maybe do some data cleansing. Uh, maybe get rid of some values that I don't want. We, anything you can do in a store procedure, really, I can do in here. Now, the key here is at the very beginning of the top there, I've created a parameter using that data type that I created earlier. And the parameter name that I chose here was just passing. That's the name of my parameter. Now, you want to take note of that parameter because we're going to need that in just a second. Okay. So the next thing I need to do before I can get into the copy activity is configure my target data set in Data Factory. And this is a little bit uh, tricky, but what I want to do is where it says to choose a table, I actually want to provide the name of the parameter that I used in my store procedure. So the store procedure has a parameter of a user-defined table type, and it's the name of that parameter here that I put into that table name okay so if i hit that preview button data uh, preview data button it actually won't work because i don't have a table in my database it's just called passing okay the other key here uh, is on the schema when i define the schema here i'm really mapping or including the schema of the user defined table type and not the target table okay so that's another important key here now once i have that all set up now i'm ready to move on to the copy activity uh, the copy activity, um, I'll go ahead and choose my store procedure that I defined from my list of store procedures. Uh, and I, I'd like to use the import parameter button. And when I do that, uh, if this is done right, it should recognize that I have a parameter of the table type. Now, in my case, I had to add the schema name uh, to my data type there. So again, this is the name of the data type of that parameter and not the name of the parameter okay so in my case here I had a schema name in front of my data type name and that's what I've shown here then the final thing then is the mapping and here you're mapping the source in my case from my file the source columns to the columns in that user defined table data type a little bit tricky but I hope you found this overview of how to use a store procedure 
as a sync in Azure Data Factory helpful? If you have any questions about this or Azure Data Factory, please reach out, let us know. Thank you.